Hi there, this is Michael Quincy Stratman and you're in Dot2 Tips and Tricks video clips. We are in our little special series about the new software release 1.3.1.4 Shorts 1.3 software. Um, what's the topic today? We have an ultra short one and it was a big wish from you to use the master fade as much more flexible and now you can. So let's have a look. We jump from fixture to queue to see what's happening in here. There's nothing on there. And if I use the tool, you can now tell the master faders any speed or function of your special masters. So this can be a master speed. This can be still your master. And this can be the programmer time. And you can use the second one as well for something. And what's new as well, you can leave it empty. So if you want to make sure you pull the right fader when it's dark, you can leave one empty. That's new. But um, other hint, if you make them both empty for what reason ever, and you store something in your list, store, ah, let's do something. Through at at uh, store it in here. And now we make them, let's say, yellow store here as well, second queue. If you've made them empty before, you can have a queue list on here and it will work, but you're missing the master. I just mentioned this. If you say, well, I've done them empty, what should it do? Just remember, if you've done this or if you've programmed your console for another person and you've made them empty not to make him weird and he stores on here, he needs to go in here and tell them you're not empty anymore. Please, please, please give me my main master back, my main execute. And now it's back. So empty has it good, has it bad. You will check this out. But this was a big wish from you. Hope you're happy now. You can do all timings on your 100 millimeter faders. That's it. That was quick. Take care. Bye.